Hey everybody, this is Oz. You might know me from my cooking show on YouTube, right here on YouTube, at Living Between Paychecks Kitchen, or you might have met me at uh, any of the search stuff or the National Convention last year, but since I used to live on the island and uh, I used to work for the Sheriff's Department, they asked me, a fat guy, always ask a fat guy when you're somewhere local, what's good for? This is my recommendations. There's, It's my opinion. There's always going to be some other people that disagree, and there's going to be BOI people that are telling me I'm totally wrong. Uh, now, I do apologize. I've left my mics, so it might be a little loud, and I might do some voiceover. All right, so everybody asked me for seafood stuff. Now, we're close enough to Louisiana where we get a lot of influence from the cage and stuff. This is my number one seafood place that I come to on the island. It is absolutely amazing. One of the few drawbacks is the line is super long, but that just means this food is that good. People are willing to wait in the heat. You can eat outside, inside, whatever. The food here is great. I got some pictures of it. Let's look at it. All right, this is like the grilled cajun stuff. Absolutely amazing. And uh, so is the fried stuff. My, my squire picked this one out. It was really good. So, like I said, this stuff is amazing. They have so much good food here. I recommend the crab fingers here or any of the fried or grilled Cajun food. This is great. Check it out. All right, the original Mexican cafe. That's the name of it, the original. This is an amazing place. Not only is it built in this awesome little historic houses and stuff, the food is amazing. Okay, right, going voiceover on this one. Uh, yeah, the wind is too high. So this is the spot. There's four different bars, one restaurant in here. It's actually built out of three old houses that they put together. That's actually open later than anything else on the seawall, which is absolutely amazing. So it's it's open till like midnight when everything else continues to cuts down about like eight. So these burgers are amazing. Also, the gumbo diner again on the seawall. So the wind was just too much. But this is I know it's Louisiana stuff, but this is absolutely great. We got some uh, like beignets and just the gumbo is amazing if you're in that kind of stuff uh i absolutely would tell you to come in here and eat it's right on the seawall so it's really great it's parked right next to the the commodore it's right next door but here i got i got a couple of pictures here so check it out like this is the seafood stuffed jalapenos amazing the bacon wrap shrimp is just too good but the beignets are actually worth the trip to go down here now this is Guido's again on the seawall it's absolutely amazing but this is some good seafood it's, it can be a little pricey from time to time but it's right on the seawall and the food is great they help out our first responders during the hurricanes and stuff they always have food set out for everybody that's working and for people that need it so I will always give a shout out to these guys if you're down here come out here just you know, get you some food get you some seaside stuff check out the water and look at where all your food just came from that's where it was living it's right out there it's that fresh all right this one is absolutely great but you gotta get here early this is Penny's tex -Mex. they do awesome tamales in the morning but this is your barbecue place this is where you want to come to get that awesome smoke stuff but they just cook it until it's gone so this is gonna be takeout they got a couple tables and stuff out here but it fills up fast and they run out of food so you need to come up here early but this is what everybody's talking about down here on the island this is the place to go so if you get up early enough or have somebody come down here early before you go into the classes this is the way to do it all right and last year we went to missouri and everybody was asking me about barbecue when you come down here this is right on the seawall this is a great place and that's really good food here right right here i'm sitting yeah it's here <laughs> absolutely love this this is a great place you need to check it out if you're down here and you're looking for barbecue in texas all right, now if you're down here in the island and you're looking for Italian food, you're here for the whole week and you've gone through your seafoods and stuff, this is amazing. If you want pizza, this is where they have it. The slogan says it all. This is great. I love the Italian food here and the pizza is just amazing. Again, if you're on the island you want to check something out, get here, get it delivered to your place, whatever, this is the place to go for the Italian food on the island. All right, so the sushi joint. We got here after dark because we wanted to do all this half in one day and it just happened to run out of daylight. So I thought it. This is Gypsy joint. This is an amazing food place. It looks a little sketch. I get it. It looks like you get murdered if you went inside, like a bunch of like cultists would jump here or something. But the food is great. The atmosphere is even better. They recently moved, so it's over off 61st. But this one's absolutely amazing. You need to try this food. You need to come try it down in Galveston, especially when you're down here for the base and stuff. This will be great. Trust me. All right, y'all. This is Tortuga. This is my go-to Mexican restaurant, especially here on the island. It's right on the seawall. The stuffed avocado is why I come here. It is absolutely amazing. They got a lunch menu. They got a bar here. They got the margaritas. Nothing like sipping them, eating your avocado, and staring at the water. This is my actual go-to place. It's right on the seawall. Like I said, it's in the seawall and CC first right here. So this is great. If you're gonna come down here and you really want some good Tex-Mex food, this is where you need to go. All right, that's that's that stuffed avocado. Too good. Gotta try this. See that? Now y'all coming to Texas and y'all ain't never had Whataburger, you need to go in there. And if you ever had In-N-Out, you'll forget about it as soon as you bite into Whataburger. You know, here it's going to be late night, usually like 24 hours, it's super late night. Burgers is great, the taquitos is alright, but if you've been drinking, the taquitos is the best damn thing you ever put in your face. So, yeah, Whataburger. If you just need to do some drive through some quick food in between classes or something, this is where you go. 
And there you have it, folks. That's just my recommendations, my humble recommendations for somebody who's lived down here, worked down here for a long time. Uh, this is definitely some place, some place to go. It's not a complete list. It is absolutely not. Uh, it's just my go-to. Like I said, it's all opinions, but I hope you try some of these places out. Check it out. Uh, oh, here's some pictures of the, uh, uh, the, the Pleasure Pier down here, which, yeah, that, that's not what exactly what they mean, but... The, <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool that we had to throw that in there. But yeah, and try some of these places. Tell me if I was right. Tell me if I was wrong. Trust me. Like I said, I didn't get this big by eating bad food. So uh, yeah, I hope to see you all at the convention. If not, hope to see you all around when there's an actual horrible accident. No, I don't do that. But I hope to see you around in some training and stuff. If one of these fake horrible accidents where we get to go out and practice and get this stuff done. Y'all be safe and I'll see you all at the con.